With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. Welcome back. We have discussed five signs of the coming Antichrist today, signs that you need to know in order to take action now to protect yourself and your family. And we have two others remaining. The sixth sign we'll look at today is a sobering one. The Antichrist will persecute true Christians. We saw this before the break in Daniel 7 verse 25, where we read that the Antichrist shall persecute the saints of the Most High. True followers of God and those who keep his laws. Jesus Christ warned of this time when he told his disciples in John 16 and verse 2 that a time will come when those who kill true Christians will think they're doing God a service. Think back to all the images all of us have seen of concentration camps and the horrors of World War II in which millions were herded to their deaths. Now imagine such machinery turned onto a new minority. Those Christians Christ calls his little flock who actually believe in the commandments of God and in following them. Turn to Revelation chapter 12 where the fierce anger of Satan is described in the last days. We're told there in the last verse of chapter 12, the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation 13, 7 speaks of the military might of the beast power being turned against true Christians. And verse 15 makes this even clearer. He, that is the Antichrist, was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. This will be a modern day inquisition on a horrific scale never before seen on planet earth. But did you notice there in verse 15 that it did not say that the antichrist himself will kill true Christians. Rather he causes them to be killed. This leads us to the last of the seven signs of the antichrist that we're discussing in today's program. The Antichrist will point the world to a revived Roman Empire, a political military powerhouse of strength and might such as the world has never seen before. This is the beast of Revelation, which we mentioned earlier. This will be an unholy alliance of church and state. And the Antichrist, that false prophet, will use the political and military power of the beast to kill commandment-keeping Christians, just as the power of Rome was used to kill Jesus Christ. Remember, the woman rides the beast. Today we've discussed seven signs of the coming Antichrist, signs you must know. The Antichrist will be a powerful religious leader, not a political one. He will appear to be Christ-like, good, merciful, pious, but that piety will be a deceptive cover that will fool almost everyone on earth. He'll eventually work powerful miracles and wonders that will deceive others into believing God has given him power and approval. The Antichrist will teach against the idea that Christ literally lives his life of obedience again within us, helping us to overcome and to obey God's laws and grow in character. With regards to God's law, he will be lawless, claiming that the commandments, biblical holy days, and laws of God have been changed or done away with and replaced with church commandments and holidays. The Antichrist will persecute true Christians who refuse to compromise with God's commandments and the true teachings of Jesus Christ. And finally, he will point to a powerful political, military, economic powerhouse, a revived Roman Empire that will use his false Christianity to unify the world. My friends, there is so much more we could say today if we had more time. That is why you absolutely need the booklet we're offering today. 
The Apostle John tells us in his first letter that the religion of the Antichrist was already in the world in the first century. The Apostle Paul as well said that false Christianity, which he called the mystery of lawlessness, was already at work even in his day. This isn't something that you and I can afford to put off to the future. The Antichrist is very likely alive today, now, and the false religion that he will enforce is already powerfully present in the world. Yet, God promises great reward to those who resist this false Christianity and the Antichrist's deceptions. True Christians who zealously live God's way are promised protection from the terrible times ahead. Request this vital booklet and learn how you and your family can receive God's immeasurable blessings in your life now. And please tune in again next week. Roderick Meredith, Richard Ames, and Rod King and I will be back to give you biblical and prophetic insights you won't hear anywhere else. From all of us here in the Tomorrow's World studios, take care. To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown. To view today's program, order the free literature offered, or for more information on today's vital subject, visit us online at www.tomorrowsworld.org. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.